all right it's it's not a surprise if it's in the title but listen i'm not the brightest person and i have to title my streams so i, I gotta gotta say it's a surprise when it's still not a surprise <laughs> i guess i guess the surprise is more of what you're you're gonna see in a minute because i am i'm that person and you're stinky mia you're very stinky Welcome in. All right, hold on. I gotta wait for <laughs> I gotta wait for the sound to stop. It's doing a thing. So I want it to be like the full bit. When it <laughs> how long does this go? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Here you go, here you go. Ta-da! It's Okami! Yay! <laughs> I made I made an Amaterasu blob. Oh, and here's the lore. We have to have the lore. That happens at the beginning. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kam Kamichi. <laughs> Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. It is cheesy. Controlling the very fabric of existence, this wolf stood up against the beast many times its size and banished the darkness. <laughs> this ethereal wolf's valiant act ushered in an era, era of tranquility. The villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. Yes, I love Okami. <laughs> I didn't- I've never finished the game. Like, I've not actually finished it. I've gotten- an exact amount of a day in the game of hours worth just exploring stuff I and mean, i don't think i ever got to the second half of the plot <laughs> so i might just be a little dumb but yeah it's okami it was really annoying to try and set this up because i was trying very hard to get it to work and obs was like no you're not i'm like <sighs> It, now let me know if the audio ever gets too loud. I know it can get really loud. And I'm hoping, hoping nothing goes wrong. That everything is fun and happy because I just love this game. It's gorgeous. I think it recounts the entire story we just saw, but again? Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> oh well, we have to sit through it again. <laughs> or maybe it's different, because I can go through the text this time. Bleh. Hello, web. Long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove. Proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet bird was on was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Duh, it's so pretty! <laughs> to say... <laughs> satiate? Yeah. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered a sacrifice at the annual festival. I am creature model. It is creature hours. <laughs> Thank you for the nice blob of Tarasu. I tried. <laughs> With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. The night of the sacrifice drew near. A mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. 
This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was of Shirayumi. Shir Shirayumi. If I could speak properly. Listen, I'm not the best at pronunciation. Japanese names, I'm trying. I do my best. <laughs> the wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Orochi? 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 I keep saying Orochi like Yorichi from Bleach. I could be wrong. One villager took it upon himself to face the fear, the fearsome Shironi. Shironi. The warrior, Nagi, attempted many times to challenge the wolf. But his attempts were thwarted by Shironi's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orichi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the Beast Cave in the place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orichi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orichi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi left with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orichi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was, starting, he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orichi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat showed brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiaruni, the wolf that dwelt outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiaruni leapt toward Orichi. Orichi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiraonia summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orichi's flames. As Orochi... Orochi? Maybe. Orochi? Makes sense, right? As Orochi closed in on Shiraoni, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiraoni fought gallantly to, the upper, to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiraoni, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shiraoni refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, 
Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all of his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Thank you, third cultist. Isn't it great? <laughs> Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shironi had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kumiki. When they reached the village, Shironi was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shironi let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shirini's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukiyomi, oh god, Tsukiyomi? Tsukiyomi, and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years have passed since Naki and Shirori's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. I'm not even gonna try to get a voice that low. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the exact in person. Is this the legendary sword? Is this the legendary sword that banished the dread Archie? <laughs> yep. No, it didn't be. This is a lot of text. My brain can't comprehend this much. It gets a lot less text after this. <laughs> just, just bear with it. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. <laughs> Listen, um, actually, it's actually the sword. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh god, I forgot that this game has like extremely heavy controller vibration. I almost dropped my controller for a second because I wasn't holding it that closely. <laughs> Oh, he who seeks power, he has broken my bonds. <laughs> Speak the words. I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Book it. Book it. <laughs> run, force, run. <laughs> Its head's bonked <laughs> on the air, on that way right there. Oh boy. No, not the trees. <gasps> they they gone. With the moment of peace I have, my controller's not vibrating. <laughs> Horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny
tiny settlement of Kentucky Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. The controller is absolutely wild and. <laughs> Sakuya! How troublesome. This is just like an ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such a calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Bong! <laughs> Okami Amaterasu! <laughs> ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace! The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is. Amaterasu! How delightful to see that the Savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> She's just like, when? And then... <laughs> Amaterasu. Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those would do us harm. Huh? Eh, what? Has something stole its way into my robe? Ho ho ho. <laughs> Phew! What on earth? You again. He just rolls. Oh, I gotta give him the most annoying voice ever, because man, I want to punch this character. Ow, 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 are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Are you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Ishun. <laughs> oh, my trusty. Go do a paint. <laughs> yep, it's Ishun. I'll show you just how great I am. It won't be long until you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually... You look kinda familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shironi. Gets what he deserves. <laughs> and then they spit him out. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? 
handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Ishun. I have an issue with Ishun. <laughs> Make me use my prize sword, Nekomaru, against you. I think we have bigger fish to fry, bug boy. Just, just thought of that, you know. Whoa, what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, you didn't notice when you were trying to stash away into boobs, huh? Oh, great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kaneki Village. The village lives on. The spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? <laughs> I hate him. I don't know if he gets any better at any point. I just I want to punch him. <laughs> that Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is that a ho? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm in a laughy mood today. It's, it's a funny day, fun times, you know? Hi, Hako, how's it going? <laughs> it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. It's a hiku kind of day. It really is a hiku kind of day. Yeah, Hako, you are a bit of a hoe. Just a bit. A bottom hoe, though. <laughs> Oh, you like my cosplay? Isn't it good? <laughs> you did my makeup myself. It took me 20 minutes. I'm not joking. I wish I was. <laughs> a lot can happen when you're taking a nap. Top hoe. No, you're you're very bottom hoe. That fruit is sure growing in a high place. The only way we're gonna reach that is with some kind of special power. He's an annoying character, I just gotta give him an annoying voice. Into the void we go, the white void. Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. Yes, I thought there was something different about you. It's gonna ask if it's a new haircut. <laughs> no, Amaterasu is still short haired, just like how I am. You know, I, I I bleached my hair <laughs> with white paint. <laughs> I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. Left button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? <laughs> Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the map, yeah, and then... Hold on! That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. <laughs> Let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. It says here on my script, you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Save. Also, fuck them, I save in one save file. I'm- I am that much of a chad. <laughs> Right, it's very tutorial. This is tutorial heavy, I forgot. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. You bust them. There might be something good inside. Press X to bust them with your head. Busting makes me 
Yep. Way to go, my furry friend. You do that any time you see something you can break. Have a nice lurk. Oh, have a have a good time at the airport. I hope it's not too crowded. <laughs> Womp. I forgot if I womp into stuff, I go flip. <laughs> Who wants to see the best part of Okami? Sprinting! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there, furball. Get a lot of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press A to jump. <laughs> and press A again to do a wall jump. Now make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Yeet. And I cannot stress this enough. Yeet. <laughs> now you can do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to be... We don't miss any treasure. We're going to miss treasure. I am stupid. Yoink. <laughs> I got a bone. <laughs> Bones. Amaterasu's favorite snack. Restores for three units of solar energy. Wow. Yeet. <laughs> Look at us. Bonk and stuff. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, Amaterasu wasn't? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Ami? <laughs> I hate it. Because they're Ami. I hate it. Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. <laughs> Just watch. It take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Scribble, 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 scribble. Whoosh. Nice, huh? It's just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. And I take a drink of water. It's one of many brush techniques I use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken and missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. I might lose my voice by doing this the entire time, but you know what? It's kind of funny anyways. But there are 13. Each one is the power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Oops, our task. <laughs> Yoinky, splinky. <laughs> river of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens? You mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? Join, 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 join. Oh, right, controller. God, anytime you go in water in this game, it's just a mess. Like, your hands are gonna go numb. <laughs> wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look, those stars forming a pattern are just me. Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. I remember when um, I first got this game, I was trying to do this, and I kept accidentally like moving my controller and being really stupid. So you'll see why it's easy. <laughs> 
Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press right button to hold the brush and then press X to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. Mm. Yep, here's, okay, so what I did was like this, where I just, oh, it's X. I accidentally did like this kind of thing. I'm like, well, <laughs> well, it's someone who's just sitting thinking about it. This time, the rage student is going to put everything he has into it. I think. I don't remember there being a tutorial before. I think they just were like, here, do this. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> hey, I, I know how to actually do it. Now I have brain cells in my skull. Ta da! Did somebody say they wanted a dragon? We got me. I'm not gonna get that low, so we're keeping it a monotone. Ah, why if it isn't Mother Amaterasu? Apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Young Dami, God of Restoration, eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. I think I'll do all the gods with monotone voice. Probably be easier. While you were awake, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and unite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Let's go. Woof. <laughs> wow, that was Young Gami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of heavens? That would mean you were as good with the brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? I'm gonna punish him. <laughs> so. Bump, bump, bump. Oh. Wonder if throwing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah. It's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Watch me, peon. And... I think it's just... And... Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! A river of stardust! So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is, who the heck drew the darn thing? He doesn't know. He does not know. Womp. Womp. I'm gonna like lose feeling in my hands. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Get me out of the water. Don't put me in water. Do not put me in a situation. Whoa, whoa, you're just gonna ignore that treasure chest? I was gonna hit the pots up first, you dumb little bug. You live in the poor house if you overlook stuff like that. Oh, nice. Man. Oops. Um, work. Astral pouch. Look what you found, Furball. This is astral pouch here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding with whatever food we can find around here. Uh, you eat an apple. Nectar filled sour apple. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Peach. You consumed peach. Juicy and fragrant peach. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Uh, uh. 
You consumed orange. Just the color. <laughs> orange with the sharp citrus taste. Fills Astro Pouch a little bit. Alright, and swoosh. Into the heavenly void we go. There's a horse yeet. <laughs> Oh, there's a loop. Ah, I missed. Ah. Zoom. Also, yes, I find the most beautiful thing in this game the fact that when you run, you get plants trailing behind you. There it is! Full sprints! It's just gorgeous flowers. We have to immediately destroy it because we're grabbing this. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shiraoni. First river of heavens, and now this place? Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. <laughs> See, that sword's in really bad shape. The god sure didn't do much to protect this place. What a dick. <laughs> what if I... Yankee Splinky your sword? Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Cat Girl Vanessa! Thank you for following. Welcome, welcome! It is, it is me. I am the sky. Hello, hello. I'm cosplaying on Maturasu. I am normally not white. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a black cat. <laughs> Stop giving me ones, your brush work. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Hey, there's not a constellation. Yeah, that's right. I made Ishun's voice really annoying. <laughs> This one looks like a rat. <laughs> this one's a rat. <laughs> Ta-da! The little guy with a big fuck up sword. <laughs> Hachigami. Well, well, well. It isn't Mom Mother Amaterasu. I almost said Mama. <laughs> it isn't Mother Amaterasu. It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I can hide is in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Wow, 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 wow! Yeah! Let's cut a bitch! <laughs> Hey, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, you're getting all these powers. Then you're just like Shiryuni. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi. <laughs> I can't, this voice is so dumb. I did this to myself. I regret every second. <laughs> Especially since Amaterasu is a silent protag, so everything he soon says is just everything that's said, and it's like, ooh, this is mm, a time. When Shiraini died, the wolf's power was split into 13 brush cards. This is crazy! Shiraini and Nagi is just like the legend. One, well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? We see a slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Bump. Bink. 
<laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you, furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. A furball. Or, I mean, I I'm Tarasu. I've made up my mind. <laughs> If you're Shiruni Reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you! Not lucky me. Not... <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me, now that you've mastered the Power Slash. You can cut down on that thing Sakuya was telling you about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Man, I want to slap Shun all the time. Every time. Shink. Wood can no longer stop me. I am sprinting. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Where'd they come from? Ah, oh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? <laughs> you know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the X button to use its power against them. Hey, Eddie, how's it going? Bang! I like how they felt. <laughs> it's like the Yakuza pose, where every time you, like, kill somebody, they fall, like, ass up, and it's... <laughs> it's good. Look, Ami! Once you caught them off guard, they turn to black and white. They're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Eat. Shink. Whoa! <laughs> Here they go. Ink bottle. Bottle full of ink. Refills one of Amaterasu's ink pots. Let's go. Here we go. We're booking it. We're absolutely schmoovin'. I think the arrow is pretty nifty if you want to just go through story, but it gets annoying when you don't want to go through story. So it's just in your face all the time, every time. Oi. Their root. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was carrots because it was orange. You consumed ginseng. <laughs> Roots bursting with nutrients. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Hot. Nice. Excuse me. You know, this is the divine realm. How did these random little beastie thingies get in here? The gods just don't care. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, swimming's the worst. I like the sound effects, though. I can also just, like, cut grass. <laughs> Yeet. The gods are stinky. Except my brush gods. The brush gods are cool as hell. Wait, mm, no. Okay. I will say, I save a lot. <laughs> so if you get annoyed with the save screen, don't be. <laughs> it's gonna happen all the time. Here we go. There's a, there's a that's a patch up there and shink. I'm smiling because it's beautiful, but it's also a painful smile because my controller is just gonna like make my hands go numb. <laughs> save early, save often. You right, you right. 
again. Everything's pretty again. I've learned the hard way. Hours of lost gameplay. Yeah. Also, I abuse save states and stuff, so I'm just like, <laughs> I know to save. <laughs> Wow, the village been restored? Sakia came through big time. She really was protecting the village. I sure wish I could have spent some more time in here. Come on. If you know what I mean. Yep. He said that. <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running around at all. The village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. She. <laughs> My experience with Tales of Zestra. I have none. Hello, sir? What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Oh, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. Oh, I see. The little little thing is above his head, meaning statue. Okay. You finished the quest. Thank fucking god you finished the quest. Took you long enough. For context, Eddie, my friend and moderator, was working on Al Haytham's story quest in Genshin uh, yesterday. And he took like four hours to do it. And then he got stuck. I've got a bad feeling about this. Everything still looks cool though, even though it's not like as bright as colorful as you thought. Niki Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. Things. Things are going on down there. Oh, none of those statues and stuff. Hey, there's a statue here too. I think the villagers have turned to stone or something. Oh shit! <laughs> not again! That's not one of those smaller monsters that they're working about. If we're like that's gonna belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Y'all don't have pulses, y'all are rock. Save. Ding dong. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what? I didn't remember this. Hello? He's passed out. Mm. No good. And this one's not moving. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back. What's up with this dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village, too. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Okay. Woof. <laughs> let's see, let's see. The ground that is high. Is it about to leave you up to that other perch I was on? Oh, let's go back to that secret deck. Okay. I'm very happy to be playing this, though. It's a very good game. Despite how I want to punch Ishun. Shut up, Ishun. I'm walking here, eh? 
This is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's black as night as far as the eye can see. Not a single villager can move a muscle. Is some kind of curse? Can a monster do this? It's not gonna stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. I wonder what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I guess that'd be impossible for even a god like you. Maybe you better seek out another rush god for help. Of course, if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. I wonder what could be happening here. Wow. You're not actually trying to draw the sun. Shut up. I'm very... <laughs> Look, it's controller, okay? There it is. <laughs> oh, what the... Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. So it followed that you had the sunrise technique from the start. With it, you can even turn night into day. Wow, turned over another male god, that's for sure. Woof. <laughs> the flowing brush is like the music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He thought the skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name the brush work after the poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Ami, let's get back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. Oh, who are you? <laughs> Village elder, Mr. Orange. White Wolf. I immediately forgot the voice I did for him because I can't do level of a voice. Maybe like an S sunny voice. Not the one of the two creature. Really. I can't. I can't think of the voice. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not a voice actor. I'm not I'm not good at doing a bunch of voices. I'll just read it kinda normal. Ishun's voice is gonna take a lot out of me anyway, so we'll just try and not die. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shirayuni. No, it can't be. That story's a hundred years old. Just like me! <laughs> Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shirayuni. It's like you're a white dog. And you kind of. It's kind of like you're a white wolf. And wolves that are white kind of look like wolves that are white. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Oi! I'll beat you up. Oh, whoa, no need to grow like that. You really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. <laughs> I have no idea what that said, but they're enemies. Hmm, what's the sudden chill down my spine? Did they come for a ball? Those are the monsters who been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job from my trusty sword. Thank Amaru. Yeet. <laughs> Reconnected the orange on his head. Yeet, 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 yeet. And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Ooh. That was satisfying. Ha, 420 again. Yo! What's up, Betty? What's the, what's the up? Wow! You really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself some praise! And look! 
see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because riddling man Riddy? Why'd I say riddling? I can't read sometimes. That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the god's power. It restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. Got the final stamp of my honorary millennial card. I can get a free smoothie. Honorary millennial card? What? What's that? Bro, get me your free smoothie. I'll take it. <laughs> the more we restore the land to its natural being, the more this feels like I'm just gonna say homie. <laughs> it's like Marge Simpson. <laughs> the more praise you'll get, it's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days. And that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, your true power might shine through. Oh boy. There sure has been a lot of monsters around lately. And then that Mr. Orange you tossed around <laughs> up on the secret deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak people can't see them anymore. Oh well. Uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun for them all. Yeet. Feed bag seeds. Freshly roasted seeds that seed loving animals can't resist. Why, you devil, what can this sweet grub you found? I'm going to lose my mind doing this voice. I might accidentally seep it into my regular voice because it's really nasally. Hey, wait, this is animal food. Still, we could save it to give it to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach an animal later. It's like we're also animals. <laughs> Something good might come out of using the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner. But what the heck? Let's make an exception this time. It's the card you get when you can relate. Wait, it's the card you get when you relate. Wait, it's the card you get when you can relate with millennials as a Gen Z. Oh. So it's not that hard to get. Because they're ridiculously similar. I see. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the triangular-looking button to open the fan menu. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you have. There's another. There's other things you can do there too. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. Well, <laughs> Spirit Globe S. Humanity's faith made solid restores a little solar energy. By the way, you can die swimming in this game. It'll be fun. Hey. Oh. I think I knocked him down. <laughs> like I threw him down to the village. <laughs> oh boy. Can I? Nope. And I scared the birds away. I'm dumb. Oh well. So I beat the ever-living shit out of you, but that's okay because I can feed the birds. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't remember how long these cutscenes take. Or if I can skip them. Oh, I can't skip them. Yeah, the birds are happy. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to bite the birds. What's this? I don't know. 
Ah. Creature Rooney, oh no. So he's out of it. Hey, pipe guy. What you doing? Homuso. Ah, I feel that I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see right behind you now. Thanks for summoning him. Jeez, what a, what a jerk. Just do this. Shank. You consumed potato. Oh my god, I ate myself a potato. Dry but satisfying and flavorful. Flavorful. Bill's astral pouch a little bit. Just a little bit. Yo. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 14 seconds. You're creepy. Anyways. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> hey. People are alive. Oh, she's mama. <laughs> I've just been having enough of this. I don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what. But someone keeps messing up my crops. Going around digging holes with why. Must be mad. If I catch you digging around here, you'll get a good thumping. Digging with why, you say? <laughs> you consumed turnip. Tuber with crispy texture. Bill's astral pouch. <laughs> ah, dang. <laughs> I fail. Let me see. No, that's the wrong button. Wrong oh, fight. Oh, she's not angry. She's because I'm not digging up the crops. Okay. I'm magic. <laughs> on, I drag her over here. Drag her over here. <laughs> oh god, she gets faster. <laughs> Maybe a god, but <laughs> something mashing. <laughs> if I can lure her over here and then okay, run. Fuck it. I'm. <laughs> Them. You're pretty smart, aren't you, boy? I have Bushi got a taste of my fist for that, the dumb mutt. Well, now I have this. You offered oddly shaped turnip. Mushi. Hey, that's that the oddly shaped turnip Hayabusa. Wait. Hayabusa and I have been looking for. That means you've broken Hayabusa's record by digging up all ten turnips. Gosh darn it. Fine. With a better canine. Actually. Or anyway, it actually feels good to have a new goal to aim for. 
four. Hello, fellow porker. Eh. Eh. Exorcism slip. Paper depicting holy incantation. Slightly damages nearby enemies. Cool. I guess I was supposed to dig up those rooms. I don't remember that one. Behold the new king of hole digging snowy. Do you think me snowy? Your name shall go down in history here in Kamiki Village. Thank you, fellow worker. Let's go on to Mr. Orange's house. Let's invade his home. <laughs> Nothing to eat here? Damn. Why can't I eat his food? Oh, hey, I can eat that, though. What if I... But this. Oh. Oh, there's nothing back here. That's one. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's invade someone else's home. Yeet. <laughs> we'll invade this one's home. Bark, bark. Your god is here. Whoop. Can I cut those? Whoop. I can! Pretty cool. consumed radish. Pure white spherical vegetable. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Wow. Chickens. Look at all those chickens. Can I cut the melon? Yo! You consumed watermelon! Sweet and juicy fruity treat. Fills astral pouch. Let's go. I'm invading your home. I cannot invade your home. Yeah, huh? Can you plan on drinking some sake or something? It'd be cool. I'm invading your home. This must be where she ages the sake. It smells good, doesn't it? Who? Cool. Yo. Committing thievery. I'm not gonna read that out loud. Oh, you consumed a bale of rice. Bale of rice, fastened with straw. Fills astral pouch. Oh, I can just eat straight rice. Crunch. <laughs> Work. Oh, are you the one that brews the rice? Oh, hello! Kushi! Wow, what a fine looking wall! What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sake brew Kushi. We're in the fields again, Aria. Shoot, you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. I have to manage the harvest all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting with you. Ma'am, can you pet? Do you give dogs pets? Why, well, I Amy, mean, I think you found a friend here. You meet many people who want to talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or even three times. You should talk until their dialogue starts repeating. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when to talk because you can see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. Might even be valuable information sometimes. They may just be muttering to themselves, but it pays to listen. Sasan is a neighbor of mine. He's a little unusual, but he goes around with a huge sword slung over his shoulder. 
He's always practicing with it. They say he's a direct descendant of our legendary hero, Nanaki. And he loves his sake, too. He often pops around here to buy it. Make sure to say hello when you see Sasano. He could use a friend, I should think. He's always on his own. Ma'am, can I dig? Oh, I can't. Womp, 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 womp. Can I... Cut the rice? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you consumed rice balls. Looks tasty. Balls of rice wrapped in seaweed fills astral pouch a little bit. Yum. Blurb, 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 blurb. I didn't get everything in one swipe, which is kind of sad. Another house to invade. Let's go. Oh, there's some rice balls. Oh. Why are we in the black void? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can't cut everything, which is a shame. Oh, old lady. Oh, Mrs. Orange. White wolf, that's a rare sight! Did you come down from the mountains just to play with us? Well, you better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the villagers. Do you even know who you're talking to, Grandma? This here, Shironi Reborn. The wolf and I have it covered. These monsters are history. Well, if it isn't Eastern. And riding a wolf RV. This one certainly resembles your army, especially the nose. Hmm. Well, I'd better get back to my work. Hmm. Here to listen to the ramblings of an old woman, are you? Well, I was doing the laundry. But when it was ready to dry, I noticed my drying pole was gone. Oh, whatever shall I do? Where did that darn pole go? How could something important like that just disappear? Hmm, she's missing something that you should be. That should be there, isn't she? You better help her out, furball. Is there a drying pole? What if I make a line? Well, what if I fail at making a line? Ma'am, your pole. <laughs> A new drying pole? Oh my, where did they come from? The gods must have answered my prayers. How wonderful. Time to dry the laundry. I've never seen anyone so excited to do their fucking laundry. Well, I'm glad I was able to hang my laundry, but... The sun seems to be so far away these days. It's like it's at a fixed distance from the earth, but you wouldn't really know. Now would you, hun? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like all those monsters that are lurking about. Only it would shine closer and my laundry would dry in a second. Ma'am. You are talking to the sun god. Yeet. My word! The sun has suddenly drawn so close! My laundry will be bone dry in no time! If the sun is this close, you should be afraid. <laughs> First my pole and now this miracles never cease. Maybe I ought to make some cherry cakes to offer to the sun. Come back tonight if you want some too, Snowball. No one makes better cherry cakes. They're mouth-watering good. Ooh, I don't like cherry. But, let's go. Free food. <laughs> Yeah, you can have it. You can have the cherry cakes. <laughs> she, she's always snoring like a bear. 
This is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior Sasano. He goes around claiming to be descended of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage. He's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. I, w I didn't care about him. I wanted to see this rock and I wanted to just shoot. Ooh, I can't cut this rock? Why can't I? Same rock. This rock's a perfect size for training. Looks like there isn't a single scratch on it, though. Are these swords he trains with? They're all rusty and don't like they've been used in years. But can I make it over there? Eh. Eh. Nope, I can't. Whoop. Burbs. Hello, burbs. Walk peacefully by burbs. Jeez. How do you snore this bad? Like, he was in his basement, right? Oh. Congratulations on not being stoned anymore. Now you're snoring your ass off. I am the greatest. Are you really? That didn't wake him. Nothing will. Let's just leave him for a while and find someone else to do. Okay. A direct bonk from a god didn't fucking make you sleep and what did? Okay. Oh! Heh <laughs> heh. Looks like someone's got a crush. Looks like an Enchi and that Kushi girl. Wonder if this guy actually trains at all. Nah, no, probably not. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. Oh well, let's... Hello, sir? Excuse me, sir. Who the heck put this big rock here? It's blocking the only road out of the village. And I needed water. <clears throat> His voice sucks to do. <laughs> Doesn't look like he can squeeze through anywhere. No one knows how to knock anymore. And it's rude. Doesn't look like you just squeeze the broom anywhere. Besides, I don't know if it's safe to leave the village yet. Well... <laughs> heave! Heave! This is weird! My mind really wants to ship this rock, but my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Oops, it was. <laughs> he's got a guitar. I can't read that. And he's got an ass on him. It's flat as a pancake, though. You did. Look at you. <laughs> Can't believe it. Nice. 
I got frays. Dang. Not 69 frays though. Just 68. Whoa, you suddenly started glowing. I need your divine attributes to be enhanced. Well, you sure look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. I'm gonna open the fan menu where you'll see your divine attributes. Use the praise you've accumulated to enhance any attribute you want. Let's get more ink pot. Yeah. Well, is it all coming back to you or what? Huh? It's hard to notice such a small enhancement. I'll lighten up, Furball. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaterasu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. I better check out on that dude. Ah, I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. Who went and blocked the only path out of here anyway? There's no way I can get back to the city now. See, Pup, your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Sasana. Can you get him to come here? They say he's a descendant of the legendary hero Nagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. He's still trying to push it. Good job. Oh well. Hey, Snores McGee. You're being asked for. What the? Huh? Woof. <laughs> Uh, I feel so well rested. My plan is to meditate underground. I fell fast asleep. Huh, who are you? What business do you have with the son, the greatest warrior ever? I'll say that when pigs fly, Sasano. Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, fight all around looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. Oh, dear Amiji, what let you interrupt my meditation? Get a load of this guy, all brawn and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. Haunt you snuck in here again. Quit bugging me, you you bug. I told you. Don't call me a bug. Come on, we're taking him with us. What do you think you're doing? Put me down in this instant. What will the neighbors think? Nope. Yee haw. You're coming with me, ya bitch. Yoink. <laughs> Be useful for once. Hello, Mr. Merchant. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me. Prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohenboku. Hold on a minute. You're the legendary Sasano? Yup, none other than Sasano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And by the way, never knocked my warriors engaged in battle. But I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> this huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you're not used to send it, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? 
Uh, it is certainly not beyond my ability. Really great! Okay then, no time like the present! Go for it! Wait. A boulder of this size is not very easy, even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my soul. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. He just books it. Look at him go. He looks dumb. <laughs> He's always been dumb. Huh. I've never seen the guy train seriously. Never. Well, now that we know he's a pussy, Mir. <laughs> nope, there you go. So you're dumb and stupid and dumb and stupid and you're drinking sake. No, I told that merchant I could help. But a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm one of. I don't care if I'm of a legendary bloodline. It's just too big. Hmm? Oh no, I can't believe I'm running a sake at a time like this. This will do one bit. That's it for today. Just have to train tomorrow. You're stupid. It's no use. I can't even move. Wow, you're a, you're a dick. I can't train without socket. If you will fire, train will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why do today? What can we put off until tomorrow? That's doing things the Sasano way. <laughs> I'm socket. Oh yeah, this village has a spooky brain girl, doesn't it? You're Man, you need booze to sword. Don't add a hey, hey, cushy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, I've got a, we've got, I've got a bit of a problem you now. I have to polish and rice and mill before I can use it. The mill's broken. The wicked monster broke it out the other day. Oh, it is broken. That that is very broken. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Oh, wow, that's too bad. I should never have let that monster try my new thunder blue. Broken mill and flattened crops, that's all the things I get. Don't go give me monster sake. You're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess it's a matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, I mean. I'm gonna... Punch it. I'm just gonna punch it. Ba 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 That's, yep, a mill. <laughs> you just, like, close your eyes, hold a brush in front of you, and just waggle your arm around, and you're like, BAM! It's a mill! What's this? The mill's been mended! Who on earth did that? I've completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice! Well, no time like the present! I'd better get started. Not in that walking pace. <laughs> mm. Ah, damn. Also not good enough to cut every single bit. How's the rice polishing going? Interested in how to grow sake, are you still? Well, it's things here for polishing rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something I think you'll like. <laughs> it's just some leftover stock from the store. But I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, are you old enough to drink snowy? I mean, it's it's booze. We take... Yoink. <laughs> I've got my beer, I got my bitches, it's time. <laughs> 
Hey, bitchless. <laughs> so you want boobs, you say? What? Hmm? You hold it right there, Fido. That smell. It's that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake. You offered Vista of the Gods because. Sure, he needs alcohol, I guess. For some odd reason. Oh, my. I'm sleeping. I think that's fine. Maybe. Maybe. That should be fine. Fido, my friend, did you bring me some Akushi sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, good old sake! A man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. I don't think that's how this works. In fact, instead of knocking himself while out on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. It's all so clear now, let the training begin! I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Yeah, you did it. Feast your eyes on this! Sasano style exploding implosion! That doesn't make sense. My oh, the tree. Whoops. My B. I didn't mean to cut the tree. Yeah! He's, he's, he's absolutely cut here. Sasano style. Exploding implosion! <laughs> so he thinks he's cool, but he's got the dog helping. That's amazing! You sliced that huge rock clean in half! You really are something. Wow, I didn't think you can do it, Pops. Me either. Or I mean, of course I could. After all, I am Sasano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't showing off when you said you're not his descendant. Someone like you'd have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Let's start doing business again. Did you say m m monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Sasa, the great Sasato work his magic. So he's getting stabbed. <laughs> He should now all pumped up. He's nothing like us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Oh, glorious Amaterasu. She even has a peach for an ass. The hell? What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave the boulder in two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with a brush is to be... It's to be witness to great art. Yeah, so would we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's a soon! A soon, a soon, a soon! Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again! My word! Aw, oh, relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy, anyways. Let's get back to that reward thing we were talking about. Come on, Ami. Put your paw up for something. Go on, shake! I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom.
Though my body stems firmly here with the com within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect praise and admiration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Uh, <laughs> Amaterasu's just knocked out. She's just like... Nap time. <laughs> oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaterasu. Can I be so bold to request your assistance in rejuvenating? These guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them. I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on the map. Cool. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope that my request does not fall on deaf ears. I'm with Rossi. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. I forgot that, like, she literally has a peach for boobs and butt. Bah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my wounds into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with furball here to get on the brush skills. Anyway, I'm just a god and all. What the boss move on wrong? He's your listener, furball. You get the rest of those brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Man set up shop. Really fast. Okay then, so I better offload some stock before heading back. Feel free to take a look if you've been, to the, if you've been sent to the shopping pub. Yeah, let's do some shopping. What a menu. <laughs> so I can buy socket, which increases attack or defense. Bones. Exorcism. I think we should get four. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, two each. We're gonna need the beds. Okay. Thank you, sir. We now have all the good stuff. I can feed bunnies. What do bunnies eat? Oops. Ooh. A nice little moment of peace. Where I can drink water. I don't know how long this cutscene goes on for. Let's see how long it like fully goes. I'm curious. Actually, I think it might just go on for, for fucking ever. Oh, there it is. It's like a minute. There we go. The bunnies are happy. Worf, worf, and worf. Which button was my map again? Nope. <laughs> Here it is. No? Maybe? Here it is. Okay. We just need to leave town then. 
Let's see. Alright, here we go. Off on our adventure. Yay! Oh man, this game's so pretty. Ooh. Shinshu Field. Huh? You probably know this already, Young, but... This here is Shinshu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. At least it's supposed to be. Ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. I need a vibe check here on the Trasu. Can you help me out with a vibe check? <laughs> <laughs> You better watch where we're going. You can look at the map by holding down left trigger. Oh, cool. Let's pay attention to the map as you push ahead. Mm. Nice. Oop. No. Bonk. Oh, wait. Somebody's bonk. That's the first guardian sapling marked on our map. It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate. But if just look at it, it looks like you could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed, the looks of it. Places where evil ones take it hold, luring monsters far and wide, They're known as cursed zones. I've never seen one this big. It's withering all the plant life near it. Even that big tree! It'd take a monster with powers bond, even a god, to do this. That tree's an offshoot of Sakya. It protects nature in the area. Maybe the natural beauty in your return if you revived it. But how the heck can we do that anyway? We don't know, but there is that. What if I... Oh. Gives you an advantage, I think. Wow. <laughs> so what you gotta do is do a lot of damage and do it really fast. And that's how you get bonus monies. Should this dude's a statue? Another statue? Is everyone here turned to stone? Must have been struck by some terrible curse. The only way to help them is to rid this cursed zone of evil. What? Oh, yo, look at that! This guardian sapling's a wreck! So that's why Sakya is hurt so bad. But the natural beauty would return to revive that tree. How could you possibly do something like that? You need special power that could make a withered tree bloom. Oh, if. Let's say the village name. Oh, my key village. Oh, it does. That's so cool. I'm stuck. Eight. <laughs> Get wrecked. 
Look at these things. There's like shinies in the wall. Let's just build up some money when I need it. Very fun. Your pots, sir. Yeet. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Hello. Nameless man. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and communing with nature as usual. And I heard a loud rumbling like an earthquake from the lake. A huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened there, so when I came to, it was like this. My art was just across the stream there. Oh, my my art workshop was just across the stream there. But it up and vanished when this curse zone appeared. Night waiter, I'm drinking night waiter. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live with nature in peace, man. But now I can't. There's a figure running from the lake toward Kamiki. Whatever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept them safe. Oh. What's up, nature buddy? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. Sight of amazing waterfall. Monsters have moved in now. There's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow in shrine there. You'd think gardeners would be flocking here for it. Actually, not long ago, that's the Sano guy marching in there. It's weird. Normally he runs away at the sight of monsters. And he hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. You could be attacked if you went in. Oh, okay. Let's beat up this loser over here. Ayo. Yeet. Shink, bam, and then we do bad angle, and then shink. Yeet. No butts for you guys. Nice. I like doing a little jump at the end, I think it's cool. Alright, well. Is this also a load zone on this side? It is. Cool. Hana Valley. Looks like literal dirt. Alright. Okay. You blink. Oh, I missed. Alright, again. Traveler's Charm. Ooh. Protects travelers from danger. Increases godhood by one level. Yo! That tools. Use. Yo! Does that mean I... Well... Cool. I guess I just have one more level of Godhood. Mm. 
on. Dang, they're having a party out here. They're gonna have a rave. Oh, never mind. It's no longer a party. Oh, I forgot there's like mid air combat. So why didn't the god's power disappear? I guess the curse of the gods in these lands was really strong. We can't intervene until we do something about this stagnant air. <laughs> it's stinky in here. Ooh, feedback fish. Fresh fish. Irresistible to animals who dine on fish. I would assume. Okay, okay. Are the trees evil? Hey, check out the tree, it's moving! You gotta be careful, Ami. Oh, shit! You see that? I just threw some fruit at us! Show me business! Try to hit his fruit back at it! Throw one quick stroke to hit the fruit! You remember how, don't you? Do it, throw your fruit at me. Boing, boing. Look, you stunned it with its own fruit. Let's pass by this creepy old train while we can. Why did you turn me the wrong way, camera? Goat. Oh, that's a skull. Oh, it gave me an orange. <laughs> Aldani. I feel sorry for it standing in a place like this. Oh! Yeah. That was an accident, but I'm on my way. I'm leaving. Bye bye. Oh, what the? Whoa. Yo, he's got a drum. No. They they make a killer band. But apparently that drum can tunnel under ground for some reason. I don't know, can I cut him when he's like that? You know? I cut him now. Oh, he's over here. Shinked. Oh, never mind. I shinked him too early. Shink! Nice. Damn. Still, that's a lot of yen. That's all. All that racket. Oh, what's you, what? What are you doing here? Go home, I already told you. I'm not looking for apprentices. I 
and Kana Valley is no place for a mutt like you. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. It's the perfect place to hide. Er, I mean train. Now scoop me off with ya. Alright, loser. Won't help you then. Oh. It is now spooky hours. Wow, Janet, wall painting. It's like a Christmas sphere that makes trees grow is enshrined. Somewhere around here. Based on a painting in your I'd say the rumor must be true. Still, something's not right. Don't you think there's something missing from this painting? I wonder what it could be. I wonder what it could be. It's like I'm on a Tarasu or something, you know? <laughs> Well, blood water. What in heaven's name? How did that happen? Well, now I can go hide. <laughs> I mean, now I can go train. Yeah, huh? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna train. Oh, it's day apparently. Ah oh, yes, Sano can totally jump that. What the hell is this camera? Oh, whoop! Oh, it's a little guy. There's no ball. He's not balling. What a strange place. Is this really the secret training ground Sano mentioned? Speaking of which, where'd Pops go anyway? What's up with this tiny sapling? Hmm? It smells pain scent and sap he has coming from the sapling. I assume. Ba bum It's sunny now. Huh? Like that's something will happen if we can just get this right. And this room's hiding some kind of secret. What's up with this puddle? It looks pretty chintzy for what's supposed to be a grand altar. Bet there used to be something on here. Nine. No. Oh. Right. Ah, yes. Shink. Let's see. See. Oh, I got praise. Nice. Okay. I think that is going to wrap up Okami for now. <laughs> it's been it's been really good, but also I'm very hungry. <laughs> and also, Isun's voice is very tiring to me. For I I did this to myself. I made it this tiring, but at the same time, uh, it, it's worth it for his stupid annoyance that he does. So let's figure out. Let's pick somewhere to go. Let's pick out the vibe, shall we? Let's see, let's see. The boot, the, 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 the music is kind of spooky. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Hmm. Do I have... Okay. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Alright. We're going to raid someone playing Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're gonna raid a, a cool person named Kieran. They are... I like them. They're actually really chill. Uh, I think I spelled that right. Nope. I can't spell. Can I spell now? There we go. I can spell now. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna we're gonna head over to Kieran. He's playing Ace Attorney Chronicles, which is the cool looking Ace Attorney that's like newer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time, whether it be day or night. I still have a Twitter. It's still Sky's Vintage. You can still go check it out. And uh, I retweet fun, cool stuff. And I also tweet out when I'm streaming, like this little surprise I tweeted out, uh, like. Right before I went to bed last night. <laughs> I, I tweeted out a hint. I don't know if anyone understood Sundog, but Sundog. <laughs> uh, I still have YouTube. It is still linked in the Twitch profile. You can go check it out. High quality VODs of the streams in case the streams are too crinkly looking for you. You can go check them out there. Uh, Splatfest is this upcoming weekend. You will see me again then. And I'm on Team Wisdom. And I'll have homies playing. So it'll be great. It'll be fun. I'll see y'all there. It'll be at Friday on... Yeah, Friday 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, bye now!